Hello, everyone. Uh, I am doing something. Uh, I'm doing something completely, uh, <laughs> completely new that I have never done, but I've always thought would be kind of cool to do, uh, which is a, a gorilla stream. Like completely unplanned stream, if you don't know what that is, uh, is what a gorilla stream is. Yeah, it's night at the beach. Uh, no one ever gets to see this because <laughs> I stream during the day, but it's nighttime here at uh, here at my beach. But yeah, I uh, I decided uh, I took some uh, some painkillers for my back slash uh, hip pain. And I decided uh, I would do a gorilla stream, uh, <laughs> gorilla plum. That would be hilarious. Uh, I decided I would I would just kind of have a fun stream, especially since I only streamed for two hours this morning. Uh, and I would play Honkai Star Rail. Uh, I've been kind of excited about it. Uh, I know it's a gotcha game, but like it looks good. So I, I kind of really want to play it and uh, and see how it is. Uh, and yeah, I don't know how long I'll stream for. Uh, it might, it, it really depends on like my, my back to, to be honest, like, uh, if it starts to hurt too much, I might only stream for like an hour. Uh, if I'm feeling good, then I might stream for longer. Who knows? But I figured I was going to play it anyways. And I was like, Hey, you know what? I'll just stream it. That'll be cool. So anyways, here we are after all that. <laughs> So let's get into it and see what we think. Excited to see dim rolls. I am too. I the the gotcha it calls to me. Uh let's see how the audio is. Uh this is a turn-based strategy game. Uh, how, there's no audio right now. The game just, like, went quiet. So I guess we won't know until I get into it. Oh my goodness, the down, oh, okay, good thing I have fast internet. <laughs> I just realized, uh, does that, does that train have a, uh, like a revolver cylinder for like an engine? Like right here? Yeah, it is turn-based. I know, Grit. It is turn-based. Uh, I'm looking for the, uh, the one that's not turn-based that looks incredible. Also by Hoyoverse is uh, Zenless Zone Zero, which uh, I also am excited to play, but that's not out yet. Zenless Zone Zero is gonna be like a cool action beat-em-up style game, whereas this one is like, uh, this one's turn-based. <laughs> Actions make it so it's always my turn-based. All right, fair enough. You got me there, Grit. Okay, here we go. Let's let's see what we got. And uh, I'll, I can adjust the volume as needed. Ooh, that's cool looking. Oh, you aren't seeing the game. That's not good. Why are you not seeing the game? Hmm. I... I don't know why you're not seeing this cutscene, because this is a cool cutscene going on. Let me... Swap back in. Hmm. 
I also am missing a cool cutscene. Why? <laughs> Seems I came at a bad time. No, no. I think you couldn't have timed it better. I don't know why you can't see it. Twenty-three forty-seven fifteen system time. Very punctual, Kafka. Okay, good. Uh, it's at a. It's now at a pause, so I can try to figure this out. Hmm. My eyes are being robbed. Why was Canon and D playing there? Okay. Uh, I will explain it, what you missed, as soon as I figure out why you can't see the game. Um, maybe it opened up in a different screen. No, I completely agree. It, it did open up like in a new window. But here's what's weird. It's under my app. My window capture isn't giving it as an option. Like, there, there is no option to capture this. Okay, I'm going to throw it into VLC. No, it's not working. Hmm. I wonder how other people are doing this. Sorry for a little bit of scuff. New game, new scuff. Okay, I think I have another idea that might work. Yeah, okay. We're gonna try, we're gonna try something different. It's automatic. It's okay, I have another idea. Okay, you're gonna... It's gonna go invisible for a second. Just give me one second while I get it all uh, properly uh, situated. I didn't didn't know it was going to do this, obviously. So now I have to make it work. Thankfully, I know the uh, dimensions of of my my layouts. Oh, sorry. While I fix this. That should be good. Okay. Perfect. How does that look? Are, are we looking good? Uh, I switched over to a full uh, display capture. I don't really like doing like display captures, I prefer game capture or window capture. Uh, just, you know, to make sure I'm only capturing specific windows rather than like my entire display. Uh, but yeah, now it's just capturing the whole the whole of my do my screen. But that's OK. Uh, so anyways, the reason that that song was playing is uh, there was a character I might it was this character actually that we're seeing now was like playing a violin uh I actually I don't know if she was actually physically playing it sorry anybody looking watching the VOD who's like that's not what happened Plum uh because I was looking away trying to fix it but I think she was playing a violin like like an air violin while like enemies were attacking Elio always tells the exact few 
future. So what's with the explosion just now? Was that also part of his script? I'm going to crank up the volume just a tiny bit. Forty-four fifty-nine system time. The pulses from the explosion cause a massive breakdown from the master control system. You did that. No, the antimatter legion did it. They completely invaded the space station two system hours ago. All right. So do we need to fight the legion? I don't know. Elio didn't say anything about it, so it doesn't matter. Got it. So from now on, I'll be in charge of this operation. Copy. Can you let me have some fun this time? Our last few operations turned out to be pretty dull. Sorry, I'm afraid there is not much I can do for you. Our task this time is just to place the target properly. But, if you want to go look for some fun yourself, I won't stop you. I mean, after all. <laughs> after all, Elio didn't put it in the script. Why would it matter? Okay, she's pretty cool. Also, that script she was talking about made it sound like it was, like... Or telling the future. Okay, use basic attack on selected enemy. <laughs> that breathing sensation. Remember it. Oh my gosh, she's intense. One thing that uh, Hoyoverse does right every time is character designs. They knock it out of the park. Oh, that was cool. Okay. Hersha's portrait. Who's this? Herta? Yeah. <laughs> she looks so young. She was already famous in the last Amber era, no? She has to be at least a hundred years old. She's a member of the Genius Society and an emanator of New Steer Edition. She could probably age backwards if she wanted. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> she can... She can age backwards? That's... that's intense. I seem to recall that over half of the Genius Society's 80-odd members had a normal death. Wasn't there someone who lived for a dozen days or so? What was their name? Oh. <laughs> That's pretty normal. Aren't the immortal bosses in games always waiting for the protagonist to come kill them? <laughs> Immortality is not always a good thing. Sorry. Oh, what an alliance joke. Who voices Kafka? She sounds really familiar. Uh, also, can I use a controller for this game? Do I need to use a mouse and keyboard? Does it have controller support? Oh my goodness, it does. Perfect. I get a soda. Oh. When did the antimatter legion become so weak? I could only attract this much. Did you really want the entire legion to come here? Oh, this lot won't be able to slow down the Astral Express crew. Relax. A doomsday beast is also here. It's always interesting in games where you start out as a villain. Now, I don't know that I'm the villain, but I have strong feelings that I am playing as one right now. 
Uh, I should ask, uh, how was the audio, by the way? Does it sound good? Oh, there's like a ton of character portraits. Okay, I gotta check these out. These are cool. This is Xander. Xander won Kuwabara, the first genius in history. Oh, perfect. Good to hear. The one who supposedly created news? Yeah, that's him. If the legends are true, then he was a man who created an eon. Well, they better be false. I don't want to be a Xandar hunter. We gotta, we gotta soak up all this lore. I know this person. She's the Lord of Silence. Hoka Kakamon. You see? Her face is all blank. She had destroyed all of her own portraits and sculptures in the entire universe. Uh. I'm not interested. Hurry up with our real business. I'm interested. That lady destroyed all of her pictures in the universe? Who's this old guy with a white beard? No idea. A society member? Who's this? Uh, no idea. <laughs> hey, Silverwolf, look. It's Screwlum, your good old opponent. Ha! Huh? I told you already. I didn't know it was him. Oh, that battle was how Alio got his eyes on you. Imagine someone actually able to crack Screwlum's code. First Screwlum. Then Herta. Uh, there's probably no one else in the universe who offended two genii in such quick succession. It must be destiny. Ugh. Seems like I'm the real destiny slave here. Okay, I still don't really understand what's going on here, but that's okay. You're wearing sunglasses? She is. The enemy is now within the character's attack range. X to attack selected enemy to trigger combat. All characters possess a powerful ultimate, which can be used when their energy is full. Fight enemies to regenerate energy. Okay. Press and hold the left trigger to enter the ultimate selection state. You are at full energy. Activate your ultimate now. Good times never last. Use ultimate on all enemies. All right. This looks really cool. I 100% agree. This game has already has like really good aesthetics. Time to say bye. I made a spider on the ground. That was sick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where did you send it, Silverwolf? Some random coordinates, not important. You care about where that Void Ranger ended up? Of course not. I'm just amazed at this fancy technique of yours, as usual. <sighs> just a little trick of tampering with the data of reality. I wouldn't call it fancy. What were you looking at so intently just now? Let me see. Herta's toys. A catalog featuring the space station's collection of rare items. They've got a lot of interesting gadgets. Like what? There's this gun. It can rate any creature within its crosshair as a score from 0 to 100. Uh, doesn't sound very interesting. Aren't you curious about how much you would score? I kind of want to know mine. Fine. I guess we can swing by and play with it if it's not too far. What's our destination? 
Go down the corridor behind the door on the left. There's a room where some kind of rare item is stored. And so that's where the Stellaron is. Oh, right. I forgot uh, Hoyoverse does this. In text, uh, when there's a word that's used, and you have, like, no idea what it means. Like, like it's some in-lore word. It'll define it. So Stellaron is cancer of all worlds. That sounds horrifying. That's where we can find out where the Stellaron is. Why would you want something called the cancer of all worlds? Switcher teams, new addition, Silver Wolf onto the field. Okay. Collect. Ooh, a readable item. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Preface. On that day, Scholar Cleo from the Candelographos asked me, is there something you would like to write for the universe? I told her there was nothing. And she replied solemnly, please, just write something. It's a request from the IPC. To be honest, I've never thought about this before. The Genius Society has its own rules and rarely ever shares anything with the outside world. Actually, why should we care about what happens to the universe? Our research and discoveries make us happy, and that's more than enough. Even if the galaxy were to go into all-out war, we wouldn't be able to take care of ourselves with our abilities. However, judging from a different perspective, what harm could it do even if I were to write a book? None that I could think of. In fact, I'm not the only one who's thought of publishing in the history of the Genius Society. Xandar, member number one of the Genius Society, wrote a book before. Aiden, member 22, an inventor of the nine-worded formulae, also wrote a book. To my knowledge, Skrulum, Skrulum? I, don't, I don't remember how they pronounce that. Member 76 also wrote a booklet a few amber eras ago to educate its butler on the maintenance of a large computer management system. Besides, the great noose, the erudition, also stored all the information within its body. Isn't this also a form of writing? Having thought of all of this, I feel it would not be a bad thing to actually sit down and write a book of my own. The IPC sent someone last week to deliver the down payment for the book. I was shocked to see the number of zeros on it. I began to think seriously about writing. First, I need to explain the content of this book within this preface. It will not contain any of my groundbreaking discoveries, nor will it have intrinsic mathematic deductions. Though I am famous for the above, I wish to display my true self here. Truth be told, I want to write a book about the universe, Aeon eons, factions, and everything else. I have had more frequent interactions with other worlds in the past Amber Eras. I began to work with the IPC, assisted Jean Jo in their battle against the Abominations, got my hands on numerous collections from the Astral Express, and stirred up some trouble with the Garden of Recollection. I've been more active recently than I ever have before. I've noticed that the truly interesting things in the universe aren't its cold laws and rules, but the eons formed of highly condensed philosophy and the foolish conniving humans gathering around the eons. This is what I want to write. The lonesome gods and their insouciant followers. I hope the readers will find the book is satisfying. Thank you, IPC, for your sponsorship. Okay, I don't fully understand what I was just reading, but it sounded interesting. Emergency evacuation flashed onto the display, and the front of house receptionist carried out the instructions. I don't know if I'm going to read everything in this game, but at least to start so I can have a basis on what the heck is going on, I'm, I'm going to. Space Station Introductory Guide, Older Edition, written by Madame Herta, currently no longer distributed due to design issues. Welcome to Herta Space Station. If your pursuit for the limits of life had extended to the universe itself, or if you question whether the debate about universal truths had truly been settled, if you long to reproduce the initial state of the galaxy, or if you obsess over symbols and scrolls, once again, welcome to Herta Space Station. Knowledge and answers can be found here within countless unknowns and novelties, and you will wield the Matok to unearth the answers that you seek. However, in order to introduce yourself in the exciting process, a simple fundamental foundational step must be taken. Becoming a research staff. 
If you who are currently reading this document are only an astronomic hobbyist, we apologize as your exploration of the cosmos has ended when you began your journey. Please cherish your tour at the reception hall. This may be the closest you will ever get to knowledge and intellect. Okay, that was kind of mean. Newer edition, written by lead researcher Asta, the edition currently in circulation on the space station. Welcome to Herta Space Station. The secrets of the universe are a topic to which many scholars have dedicated their entire lives. They are complicated enough that they cannot be fully described in any language, yet so mundane that anyone can spot them in every nook and cranny. Whatever the case may be, the scattered life forms in the universe have jointly crafted a masterwork that is simply known as civilization. On the journey to pursue the scattered hints about the universe's true nature, we are inevitably drawn to the same guiding stars. Charming and enchanting, they have enticed many seekers of knowledge into dedicating their lives just for one glimpse of the truth. The Herta space station is a shaded walkway built along the path lit by those guiding stars. Wow, that sounds awesome. We pick up fragments of the Lost Symphony to reproduce the feast of a glorious past. We decipher the essence of unknown technologies to glimpse the dazzling gleam of civilization's crystallized wisdom. Scholars are boats that sail across the vast galaxy towards the ends of, the expan of its expanse, and the answers silently waiting on the other side are the best motivations for our advance. We hope you will be able to immerse yourself in the allure of the unknown and the thrill of knowledge in the Herta space station. Entrance application. Please email us according to the template provided on our official website, and we will arrange a time for you to visit us. Due to the number of pending visitors, your request will be responded to within 180 working days. Areas open to visitors. Herta space station, space elevator, Herta space station, reception hall. Special note, each person will be allotted 30 minutes for the tour. Areas involving research are strictly off limit. Okay, this place sounds really cool, actually. Oh, the emblem. Herta, have you ever met her? I'm curious about the tastes of someone who used their own name for a space station. Never seen the real one. Saw plenty of her portraits, though. Oh, what a pity. Yeah, this place sounds really cool. There's still more to do. All right, I th I checked everything in here. Any more goodies to pick up? That's where I just came from. Okay, break objects. You might find things useful. So anyway, we got to get to the research center. <laughs> yeah, I uh. Ooh, a basic treasure. Treasures are scattered across the world. You may find things of great value by exploring and defeating your enemies. Oh no, there's chests in this game. <laughs> it's like Genshin all over again. I gotta open chests. The central area of the space station is up ahead. There will be lots of Legion Void Rangers there. Okay. Her hair ends in like a... A drill. That's really cool looking. I just noticed that. That breathing sensation. Remember it. Characters and enemies act in sequence from the top to the bottom of the action order. Ultimates are not affected by the action order and can be used in any turn. Interesting. <laughs> Try impair. I don't know what it does, but we're gonna find out. Time for a bite. Weakness implant lightning. You know what? We have an ultimate. Let's use it. After an ultimate becomes available, it can be used immediately. Use Silver Wolf's ultimate to defeat enemies. Okay. At this speed, too slow. That was cool. New feature available. Tutorials. View all unlocked tutorials. Okay. 
Unlock tutorial contents can be checked in tutorials. Oh, I think that healed. Skill points is a combat resource shared by the whole team. Okay, switch to skill. Consume skill points to use skills. You took the bait just like that. All skill points have been used. Skills cannot be used when insufficient skill points are present. Use basic attack to recover team skill points. Okay, makes sense. Good times never last. Time to say bye. That ultimate of hers is so cool. Single soul here. Impressive evacuation work. Did Herda organize it herself? According to the access history, she hasn't logged in here for over six months. The evacuation was directed by the acting lead researcher, a girl named Asta. It doesn't ring a bell. Oh, right. Elio said we wouldn't run into Herta. Seems she really isn't here. Where's the Stellaron? Elio's script doesn't include any info about the location of the Stellaron, which means in the future he foresees... We would find the Stellaron in a non-physical way. This space station is packed with extraordinary objects. I wouldn't be surprised if there's one that can make it happen. Well, hiding something extraordinary with something extraordinary. This is pretty Herta. I assume you know what to do. I mean, you've read the catalog for quite a while. I've got all the clues we need. The only piece missing is a simple trick. Help me investigate the terminal in this room. Our item might be inside. Okay, the stage is yours. See the whole space station on the surveillance screen, but not the Stellaron. Even if you could, it'd be a trap. Herta doesn't display her collections. Huh? I can't see the memory storage for this terminal. This is the monitoring room. They must have deleted the records and made a run for it. Classic. <sighs> Make your way over here, then. There's no point in trying to search like this. So, got a master plan? I'm all ears. It's a matter of hacking the surveillance system directly. Ah, I see. Herta's collections aren't in the system, so anything unaffected should be our target. Simple, crude, but effective. Look, found it. Hmm, huh. what's this? Item number 211, line spot. A simple light deflecting field. It allows an object in its field to pass unnoticed, but if a different item ceases to be obvious, the object gets revealed. So, Herta hides her collection with something as simple as this? 
The simplest method is the hardest to spot. Isn't that our motto? <laughs> uh, I just read the uh, the description in the top left. That's hilarious. Silver Wolf is nodding her head. Seems it's not that simple. Strange thing number two. The data suggests it's just an ordinary hologram, but it has an added layer. Let's take a look. Don't worry, this place won't be our grave. Interesting. She's a member of the Genius Society, all right. This is Stellaron. This is Stellaron. What Stellaron hunters throughout the universe all hunt for. But in truth, it's all just a front. Elio knows it, Blade knows it, and you know it too. Stellaron hunters have another true goal. That's why the Stellaron that hurts a sealed away will be put to another use. Once Silver Wolf breaks its seal, you'll have to take it and place it inside a kind of vessel that's been waiting for just this occasion. Huh. It has its own security system. I guess even for her to Stellaron is no ordinary rarity. Can you get it? Of course. Even the genius Herda can't compete with me when it comes to hacking. Good. Then I'll also count on you with the preparation of the receptacle. I want to know what this thing does. The receptacle's ready. Your decision. <laughs> Elio said this decision will bring about lots of changes. He also said it must be you who makes it. Oh. The re wait, the receptacle is a person? <laughs> Interesting. Um. Hmm. You know what? We'll pick, uh, let's go with. Why are you standing around having second thoughts? Let's go with, let's yeah, go with the. We've always been the ones taking Stellarons. It's the first time we're giving one out. Let's give it to the girl. I don't think it matters in this game, though, does it? You're gonna think for this. Long? I think it would be. Uh, I'm gonna guess <laughs> it doesn't matter who you give you it to. Bed this morning. Don't uh, hurry, me, Silver Wolf. This is a big decision. Yeah, we'll go with the girl. Want to give her a new name? <laughs> um. Wow, well, we can just change her name. Well, I think this was her. Uh... This is the main character. Like, this is going to be the main character. I had a choice between a male and a female protagonist. Uh, come on, I'll pick for you. This one. Yeah, <laughs> this one. But uh, I... Wolf, did you forget that I must be the one to make this decision? But I think they both are the same. I think this was her name, right? Let me make sure. Yeah. It, I don't think it matters. I'm just going to go with her. It says I could change her name, but I'm going to keep it. There we go. Um. Also, we stole this thing and we're putting it in a person. How much does she remember? So you remember. 
remember me. Listen, you are in a daze right now. You don't know who you are, why you're here, or what you're going to do next. You think I look familiar, but you're not sure if you should trust me. None of that matters. All you need to know is that I'm leaving, and you will be left all alone on this space station. From now on, you needn't think about your past or doubt yourself. Listen, in the near future, you will encounter all kinds of perils and hardships, but you will also have many wonderful experiences. You'll meet companions who will treat you like family and embark on surreal adventures with them. At the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. This is your future that Elio has foreseen. Do you like it? The next stop pave the way for the future that is written. It's like weaving brocade. You and I can only add one gold thread each time, but eventually we will make a gorgeous pattern. How long do you think you need? According to the script, the Astral Express crew is arriving soon. We should avoid being seen by them. I know, Silver Wolf. Just give me another minute. I must leave now. Don't worry, someone will come and find you very soon. Just go with them. You won't remember a thing except me. When you have a chance to make a choice, make one that you know you won't regret. Interesting. That was very interesting. Weren't the coordinates sent out from the space station? Heartbeat and pulse. March, you better do CPR. Uh huh? Uh, I, uh, I've never done it before. Don Hung, you do it. Uh. <sighs> Wait, stop it. They're awake. <sighs> Are you all right? Can you hear me? Do you remember your name? I don't remember a thing. Aw, this isn't good. Can you try harder? I'm sure you can at least remember your name. Nice to meet you. My name's Don Hung. And this is March 7th. March 7th? What a name. This space station was just attacked by the Antimatter Legion. We came to help with the rescue at the request of lead researcher Asta. The Antimatter Legion. Goons owned by the destruction. You're lucky the most dangerous Lord Ravager among them isn't around. Just some nasty minions. We'll take those invaders out soon. Don't worry. Lead researcher Asta? Uh huh. A petite cutie with pink hair? Madame Herda appointed her to be the acting lead researcher. That girl really needs to step up. I can't believe her own employee doesn't even know her name. Where should I go? Back to the master control zone. Asta and the other researchers have gathered there. Plus, that's where we parked the Astral Express. Don't you worry. We'll protect you from the monsters and clear up this mess. Who are you guys? Dahong and I are members of the Astral Express crew. The Express has some dealings with Madame Herta. So we come to visit the space station from time to time. We just so happened to arrive during this invasion. Of course, as a <coughs> crew of heroes, we're happy to lend a hand. The Astral yeah. Express? You've never seen it? The Express comes here every once in a while. It's a unique train that can travel between the stars with the power of the Trailblaze Eon. I'll show you once we're back to the Master Control Zone. Let's go then. You and March go back together. Our land from the security department lost contact in the vicinity. I need to find him first. Oh, all right. 
You stay safe. should bring this. The Legion are rampaging through the space station like a pack of wolves. This trip won't be a walk in the park. It's better if you have something to protect yourself. Like this baseball bat. Just a suggestion, though. You're safe as long as you stick with me. New feature, characters. Detailed information about characters can be viewed in the character screen. Each character has their own type. Has their own type. Steel is a physical type attacker. Each character has their own path. Steel is a character that follows the path of destruction. Characters come in different types and follow different paths. Learn about each character in the detailed screen. I don't know where it wanted me to do that, but that's fine. Space Anchor. Oh, I see. It's for healing. Oh, I have the bat. Okay, kind of liking the bat. This is a lot more than I was expecting. Yeah, this is pretty cool. This place is full of fancy little gadgets. Heard his collection. I really don't get why she'd go out of her way to collect them and then leave them here to gather dust. Oh, look at all these things. The It's the rating pistol. Item number 752, rating pistol. This weapon rates creatures on sight using unknown scoring logic. The closed eye of this weird little gun suddenly snaps open as it swirls around for a moment, staring at you with malice. The rating pistol gazed at steel. 84 points, it announced. Why is that this score? You don't understand. Hey, yeah, on a scale of 1 to 100, that's like not bad. Joy filtration. This is what that one girl was using. Or something like it. Curio number 269. Joy filtration set. This portable device inside the cube can be used to identify and collect joyous emotions. Every living being should own a complete joy filtration set. One can never have too much joy. Uh. As the after effects of the Legion's invasion have not been completely removed, not all curios in the space station are displayed here. As the. Oh. Never mind. Item number 148 Crack Up Conch. This conch makes a strange sound. It is unlike laughter, but it is nevertheless quite humorous. Okay, if you hear it, you just laugh. A curio that has just been contained by the Department of Implement Arts. Even its archival information is not yet available. Oh. This is the joy thing. Total Eclipse of the Heart. Curio number 1381. Total Eclipse of the Heart. The dull and lifeless cone is obviously in a dormant state. Okay. Interesting. Uh, it's the antimatter legion. So these crazy jerks made it all the way here. Watch this. The type icon indicates the enemy's weakness type. The white bar below the weakness types indicates the enemy's toughness. Using attacks of the same type as the enemy's weakness types will deplete the enemy's toughness. Select the enemy on the right as your target. This attack can deplete the enemy's toughness to zero. Use the basic attack on selected enemy. Use ice attacks to inflict weakness break, causing enemies to freeze. Let's make it quick. Use physical attacks to inflict weakness break, causing enemies to bleed. 
Well, let's try it on this. Physical attacks causing enemies to bleed? Ah yes, floor is made of floor. <laughs> Let's see what your skill does. Oh, it looks like it's a buff of some kind. Yep. You're stronger than you look. You seem to be quite the fighter. Use attacks of the same. Okay, we just read that. Okay, wants me to go that way. That's why I'm gonna go over here. Just kidding. That's why we're gonna go over here. So we'll take that elevator on the central platform to go down to the master control zone. Do you know the way? Um, I noticed that you're not wearing the space station staff uniform. Do you really work here? Guess I don't remember. Mm, we'll go with I don't remember. Memory loss, huh? You must have been injured. Never mind. I won't ask if you don't want to talk about it. Let's go. I'll take you to the safe zone. It would be kind of funny if she uh, was like, hey, uh, maybe you shouldn't be breaking things. The enemy's weakness type can be viewed after approaching them. Entering battle with an attack that matches the enemy's weakness type can reduce the toughness of the enemy in advance. Well, that's convenient. Oh, I've been locked onto. Steel is locked on by the enemy and will be attacked first. March 7th follows the path of preservation and can protect allies. Select the skill. Okay, we'll select her. I would love to. Use skill to shield. Okay. Right there while I give you a present. Okay, we have some defense. Shield will be displayed on the outer edge of the HP bar. Okay. I'm pretty sure destruction of company property would get your tentative employment terminated. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree completely. When a character takes damage, the shield effect will be reduced first. You can't run. Try that again. You know what? Let's try some, some of these specials. AOE Glacial Cascade. Check out this awesome move. <laughs> My turn. Okay, that was pretty great. All right, let's see what Steel's move is. Rules are made to be broken. 
Oh. That was cool. Steel is a powerful character that follows the path of destruction. Steel's ultimate offers two powerful attack modes. The single target mode and multi-target mode. We want to go single target for, for this guy. You have the worst luck running into me. Watch this. That was pretty cool. Reach the end of the story in your own way. It worked. Nah, I think the elevator's broken. I pressed all the buttons, but nothing happened. Oh uh, yeah, that sounds like it's broken. <sighs> Too bad Don Hung's not here. He's like a walking encyclopedia. He knows a ton of complicated stuff. Maybe even elevator repair. Uh, I don't know that one. Whoa! <sighs> Why are you here? And how did you get here before us? I took another route to the upper level, and I saw you guys from up there. Arlan is in the control room. He's been injured, but not fatally. You found him. Will he know what to do about this elevator? I suppose as the head of the security department, he should know. Then let's go talk to him. The Hunt. Cool title. Add character. All right. Welcome to the team. Oh. Sorry, I did not look over. Uh, let's see. You'd be surprised. A guy at our job punched and shattered an $8,000 screen. And then he got a raise. Don, you said security, not maintenance. Aha, now you're on my computer's my compooper screen. That's what we need right now. <laughs> oh, we need to level up. Okay. Yeah, I remember when you uh, when you told me about that raptor. That's a uh, that's kind of crazy that somebody destroyed eight thousand dollars worth of uh, company like property and got a raise at the end of it all. Technique, a special ability that can help with exploration. Technique is a special ability used for exploration. You just told me that. <laughs> Use March seventh technique to gain an edge in combat. Oh, we froze an enemy. Aside, I have no interest in stoking conflict. March 7's technique can randomly freeze an enemy when the battle starts. Okay, that is pretty useful. Let's see what his skill does. I told you I could fight. <sighs> Let's make it quick. Clemency? Never heard of it. You're annoying. My turn. Let's go. It's too late to retire now. You couldn't have 
done it without me. Hey, you're all together? Yep, we're from the Astral Express. Oh, did Madame Herta send you to help? Uh, it's just a coincidence. We came to deliver the rare relic Herta trusted us to find. When we didn't expect to arrive during an invasion. Why is the Antimatter Legion targeting you guys? It seems they just ignored the surface of the planet and came straight to the space station. I have no idea. The Legion came at a very suspicious time, almost right after the security system suddenly failed. Lady... Lead researcher Asta immediately began to organize the evacuation. I was supposed to cover everyone as they evacuated, but... I didn't expect to end up failing in this task. Don't be too hard on yourself. Your leg and dominant hand were injured. It was a wise decision to hide here and avoid a head-on encounter with the Legion. Yeah, most of the staff have been evacuated safely. So right now, our highest priority is to return to the Master Control Zone and plan a counterattack. So, do you know how to use the elevator? I couldn't start it. After the evacuation was complete, the elevators were all shut down to keep the Legion away from the Master Control Zone. Since Lady Asta sent you to look for me, I assume she must have given you the encryption key for accessing the elevator system? Oh, right. She did give me some sort of card. <sighs> March. <laughs> hey, here's a key. You're gonna need this later. Completely doesn't use it. Where did I put it? Oh no, we've lost it. You. You lost the encryption key to the space station. Uh, here it is. Oh, okay. Uh. <sighs> now that we found the key, we should get going. We can use that console over there to unlock the elevator. And I will do that as soon as I finish looting the place. There is no looting to be done. Let's go. Hold on. I only activated the elevator on the highest floor. We'll have to go there to use it. Why? It's so far away. Because I mustn't give the Legion any chance to reach the master control zone by the elevator. I must ensure the safety of the station staff, so I'll have to trouble you to take a bit of a detour. Apologies. Uh-huh. You're not coming with us? My leg is injured. I'd only slow you down. I'll stay here and shut down the elevator once you've made it to the master control zone. You won't slow us down. And you should be able to shut down the elevators from the master control zone. Right? Agreed. She and I made it here safely. And now we've also got Don hung. We're more than enough to protect you. Let us worry about the antimatter legion. You just follow us and keep yourself alive. Let's see. You can use me as a crutch. Aren't you a nice kid? Thank you. New feature. Character traces. Level up traces to comprehensively enhance your character. Choose traces node. Activate traces to strengthen the character. I don't think I actually can do any of these. Oh, no, I can. Damage boost ice. Ice damage increases by 3.2%. Oh, that was nice. Too late to repent. You know what? Let's see what his ultimate does. I'm curious. Of life and death revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. Ah, oh, that was cool. You have the worst luck running into.
Wait, I think that's the way it actually wants me to go. Oh, okay, we don't have authorization. We don't have authorization. Okay, we have to go this way. Oh, we froze two enemies. This is kind of long. Oh my gosh, this is so long. <laughs> oh my gosh, it keeps going. Okay, I'm gonna skip that. That was talking about different schools of, of thought, maybe. It seemed interesting, but not something I wanted to spend like 20 minutes reading. <laughs> The screen is in standby. Verification is required before the screen can be used. Good call not reading that one. Yeah, I was like, you know, this one feels long. There's a small sticky note attached to the screen. It is forbidden to comment on light cone technology as a researcher outside the research laboratory. It is also forbidden to comment on the Garden of Recollection outside the research room under any identity. Okay. Yeah, I would definitely agree on it being a good call not to read that one. It also didn't sound like it was super important. The repulsion bridge has been shut down? Yes, to stall the enemy, more or less. Oh, we don't have enough points. Hey, Grit, how do you feel about this baseball bat as a weapon? Let's try the multi-hit. The multi oh, wait, I want to use my ultimate. Oh, no, I'm already on it. Okay, good. Big fan? Baseball bat? <laughs> Better than katana? I mean, it's pretty cool. Can a katana hit a ball out of a stadium? I don't think so. You know what? You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right, Grit. Reach the end of the story in your own way. No, I'm a big fan of the baseball bat. The glowy, the glowy uh, space ball bat. Pretty cool. Like 
light cones are garden of recollection technology. They allow you to carry memories around. Very potent enhancement items. I heard the corporation paid a lot for the usage rights, but I have no idea how Herta managed to get hold of one. They were acquired legitimately. That's all I can say. Take them. They're very useful in combat. They let you hold memories? New feature, character light cones. Provide stat boost to characters. Offer special abilities if the wearer's path matches that of the light cone. There we go. We will select steel. Enter the light cone screen. Light cones can offer stat bonuses to characters. Equip light cones that match the character's path to activate powerful light cone abilities. Increases the wearer's basic attack and skill damage by 20%. Okay. Equipped. And we'll read that. We'll get a stellar jade, whatever that is. The image on the screen is not very clear. Some components of the display seem to be damaged. Any goodies in here? Ah, oh, I knew it. I'm not going to miss any goodies. Give them to Plum. Ooh, more goodies. There's 100% going to be a boss now. You've grown, March. How do I get to that? Hmm. I don't think I can get to it. But I see an item over there. Oh. That was cool. Sammy! Plum! Hope, hope you are doing well! Wasn't expecting you to stream this late. Uh, me either! <laughs> Actually. I, uh, I did a gorilla stream. Uh, Hoyoverse, uh, formerly Mahoyo, uh, put out a new game, uh, let's see, what time is it? Uh, like two hours ago. Uh, Don't hesitate. called, uh, Honkai Star Rail. It's a turn-based RPG gotcha game, uh, but so far it's been pretty cool, so I wanted to try it out. And I said, you know what? Why not? Hmm. Music is kind of rad. Yeah, I agree. I kind of am tempted to turn the volume up a little bit. I think I will, just a tiny bit. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the good luck, Sam. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. I love the character designs, TBH. Oh, I do too. I think they look amazing. The enemy has locked onto steel, ready to reuse a powerful attack. Use March 7th skill to give a shield to the ally being locked on. With me out here, how can we lose? Reminds me of Getter Robot uh, Devolution designs. Uh, I don't think I've seen those designs, but if they look anything like this, then I'm sure they look awesome. Use checking mode to use a character's status in detail. Checking mode displays the current buffs and debuffs applied on the character. 
press to view detailed information about the enemies. Oh, interesting. Oh, I can look at what his abilities do. Deals wound damage to a single enemy. If it's slowed, the multiplier increases. It's mainly the vibe I get from the male character with the spear. Oh, uh, yes, this guy, uh, Don Hung. Uh, the characters I have so far are Don Hung, uh, March, what is her name? March 7th. And uh, the main character, who I'm using uh, her default name, which is a uh, Steel. You know what? I'll try hard sometimes. Let's hit him with some ice. Check out this awesome move. <laughs> Let's go. It reminds me of Hayato uh, mixed with Ryoma from Devolution. Do we need to use normal attacks now? Good thing I had a shield up. So cool every single time. I told you I could fight. Watch this. Let's make it quick. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking combat. Sadly, unlike the main Getter series, excluding G and Go, Devolution hasn't gotten an anime out of it. Hmm. It sounds interesting. Whatever it is, if the art, like I said, if the art looks like this, I'm, I'm curious. Give him the bonk. Clemency, never heard of it. Oh, hello, John! Ooh, okay, we're getting kind of low on health. Oh, uh, welcome in. Oh, it's locked in on me. Okay, that doesn't matter, though. This, th we got this. Try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. Yeah, hello, John. I'm playing Honkai Star Rail. Oh, no. Oh, I can use it on myself. Okay. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Uh, I will explain it as soon as this cutscene is over. Oh, it's this character. I know who she is. Anyway, at least you're back. March, Dun Hong, you've been through a lot. Okay, so uh, Honkai Star Rail is a game that came out roughly two hours ago. Um, it is made by Hoyoverse, formerly Mahoyo, uh, the same people who make uh, Honkai Impact and uh, Genshin Impact. Uh, it is a mobile and PC game. Uh, it is a gotcha game and a turn-based RPG. I decided I wanted to try it because it looked really cool. And so far, it has been pretty cool. I've only been playing it for, you know, uh, like an hour and change. But so far, it's pretty cool. The, the uh, character designs are 
really good and the music's been pretty good too. I highly recommend Getter as a whole. The story starts with Getter Robo from what, 19, wow, 1970. The whole series mainline is written by one man, Ken Ishikawa. However, Getter Robo Arc, the most recent part of the story, had to be prematurely canceled because Ishikawa Sensei died suddenly. Oh no. Okay, I might look that up later. but I couldn't just blow up the space station with it. Herta would not like that. I hope I pull this character. <sighs> Are you all right, Arnie? Himiko school. Asta's been worried about you. Oh, God. Look at, look at all the friends. Look at all the cool people in chat. I'm fine. A quick patching up will do. Thanks for asking. I'll report the situation to lead researcher Asta immediately. Uh, bye. Oh, well, all right. See ya. <laughs> hey, nice to meet you. I'm Himiko, navigator of the Astral Express. I really look up to Ishikawa Sensei. Or Ishikawa Sensei. It's kind of ironic that two of the mangaka I look up to, Kentaro Miura and Ken Ishikawa, are both resting in peace. And I really hope I make him proud one day with my writings. Aw, I'm sure you will if you keep at it. Like, uh, if, in fact, maybe you already have. Also, uh, yes, uh, a huge, uh, like, pay of respects to, uh, to, to both of them. But definitely, obviously, but I, I know me, like, of Miura, uh, and his death was very tragic. Berserk is an incredible story. That has had a, a crazy, crazy impact on the world and on fiction. Uh, Plum, I almost have 10k points. Give me something big to redeem. Oh, no. Also, yeah, wait, did you throw a bear at me? <laughs> I'm not much a stranger. Uh, I'm not much a stranger that comes to gotcha games. Looks down as I'm playing Dragon Ball Legend on my phone. Uh, <laughs> yeah, did you throw? Yeah, Ra Raptor is a big fan of, uh, of Miura. No, a bear. You know what? Grit's grit's pretty strong. Uh, <laughs> grit could definitely throw something bigger than a bear. <laughs> uh, I need to make I need to make a big redeem. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll take a page out of Doggy's book, and I'll maybe I'll ask uh, on my Discord for some ideas for redeems. of where the express goes. March hasn't been any trouble for you along the way, has she? I'll throw I'll throw more too. I'll throw a Tigrex at you. That would be incredible. Can you imagine if there was a weapon in Monster Hunter that was like I've always wanted a weapon that's like a fist weapon, but can you imagine if it was like fist and like grapple? Like just like an MMA class that just let you punch and grapple monsters? Punch, kick, and grapple them. That would be uh, that would be so cool. Think carefully about how you want to reply to that. I've never met a more reckless girl in my life. I've never met a more lively girl in my life. In that case, I'd rather not answer. Let's say lively. Well, that's the joy of youth. We should take every step forward full of energy. She's a discerning one, isn't she, Don Hung? Uh. When Miura passed, I was shaken, and I became so depressed. It felt so surreal knowing one of my idols passed. But I kept writing because I wanted to carry on Miura's will. And almost everything I write, I make a reference to Gigantomachia, Berserk, and Duranki. Miura's manga. Yeah, it was... Uh, yeah, the passing of Miura, I think, shook a lot of people and had a profound impact on a lot of just give me the Tonfa and Magnet Spike from Frontier. Yeah, the Tonfa would be amazing. I've heard the front the uh, the Magnet Spike is like overpowered. <laughs> Man of culture. I want the Tonfa. Uh but like I said, I've heard that the Magnet Spike is like insane. 
I have the right to remain silent. Also, uh, <laughs> thank you for throwing something at me, John. <laughs> Look at you all. You've already gotten really close. Come on, Aston's been worried about all of you. Himiko Trial has joined the team temporarily. Oh, I know, Miura's death affected my brother as he loves Berserk. So was the Clutch Claw, but we still got that. All right, you got me there. I was at work when I got the news and I remember sobbing, texting one of my best friends asking, is this, is this real? This can't be. Yeah, uh, I broke, I, I was the one who told some of my friends and I was like, you'll, I was, actually, I think I also told Raptor because she was asleep and I was like, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. But Miura, like, passed away. Yeah, that was, oh, that was rough. Okay, uh, we're switching over to her. Uh, gosh, I'm not really sure what I should be doing right now. There's, there's, there's a lot of stuff. Ooh, a thing. Mm, that sounded like it was talking about a play. Any treasure chests? There's any chests over here. Projectile radar tracking normal. Telemetry signal frequency unusually high. Maintain at normal levels. Uh, I just want to make Miura proud. I want to make a story that encapsulates my passion in a similar vein to how Miura handled Berserk. I know Miura doesn't know who I am, but this has been my dream since I was 13. I loved and respected that man so much. Aww. All I can say is is that I believe that if you, if that's the the attitude that you have with your work, then I'm sure that that passion comes through. And I'm sure that that would make me very proud. Writing that comes from the heart, you know, you can feel it. Our measurements predict that the Legion is about to unleash over 10 waves of continuous attacks. Everyone, brace yourselves. Uh, Asta kind of sounds like, uh, Mona. I wonder if it's the same VA or if I'm just mishearing her. Asta, we're back. Oh, I'm glad you're all back safe. Arlen just told me about the situation at the storage zone and about his injury. Thank you for all your help. In times of disaster, I realize more and more that the space station's researchers are its most valuable assets. Alas, we were ill prepared for such emergencies. We should have built up our security and combat departments. But on the other hand, the entire crew of the Astral Express seems to be extraordinarily skilled. What is the current situation on the space station? Uh, I've noticed that there seems to be a very convenient thing going on here, where the members of the Astral Express think that I am one of the researchers, and everybody who works on the research station thinks that I'm a member of the Astral Express. Uh, and as long as nobody mentions anything, uh, I, maybe we can just keep coasting along in between. So you know what? I'm never going to stop writing. I'm never going to put my pen down. I'll keep growing and evolving and becoming more and more of the best version of me. Best version of the writer I want to be. Yeah! That's the, that's the right attitude. As long as you keep writing uh, and keep learning, you know, you'll keep growing. Is under control for now. The damage to our security system was minor. The intruder only managed to alter a small amount of data, so it was easy to fix. The real problem lies with the researchers. They trust Madame Herta wholeheartedly and never thought that the space station would be breached by the Legion. Hmm. 
broken spirit is far worse than a broken body. Let's go speak with the researchers. Right now, the space station can't afford any more unexpected turns, especially from within. Have you tried contacting Herda? I sent multiple letters, all met with silence. You know her, Himiko? The space station is but a mere warehouse for followers and rare items. She doesn't really care about it. I'll tell my negative thoughts to grit their teeth. Yeah. So, meaning nobody knows who Plum is from either parties. Sounds about right for any setting. Yeah, no one knows who I who uh, who the protagonist is. We've kind of just slipped in between the cracks. I knew it. No matter. I'll also send a letter to Herda and tell her that we've brought the rare item she seeks. At least that might get her attention. This Herda character they, that keeps getting referenced does not sound like she's great. Grit says, maybe I will check this game out. Oh. Grit's interest has been piqued. Oh, that would be of great help. New feature available, warp. Warp to a cane characters and lichens. Oh, it finally happened. I've reached the point of the where I can... Uh, I've reached the part where it's going to ask me to... Uh, like Persona, but space. Yeah, that's what I thought when I first saw like them talking about it. You can obtain characters and light cones from warps. Oh, here we go. We've reached the part of the game where the gotcha comes in. I'm now going to do some gotcha pools. Or maybe one. I think I'm going to get some freebies in a second. Because there's a, a thing from the game launching. Sci-fi persona. You know what? That gives me an idea. <laughs> a raptor. A <laughs> grit and turn-based. <laughs> what... What reality have we found ourselves in? Sci-fi Persona actually sounds kind of cool. <laughs> I know, right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Sci-fi Persona sounds pretty, pretty awesome. All right, let's do our freebie. Oh, this gotcha pool animation is pretty awesome. Oh, we punched a ticket on the train. Oh my gosh, this animation is awesome. Oh, oh, I pulled Asta or Asta. I pulled the, the, the girl we were just talking to. Fighting Ishin is like a turn based game. He goes, I go. He goes, I die. <laughs> yeah. OK, um. I don't know how to move some of this stuff. I'm going to use my mouse. Is this anything like like Genshin? Can I hold down the, the button? Yes, OK. If I wasn't so personaed out from writing this nearly 15,000 word persona story for a bestie, I would totally write sci-fi persona. That sounds pretty cool. Just give me my chair and a suplex and I'll keep him, him down for the three count. <laughs> oh, and there's Asta, who I just got. Okay. What's this? Oh, right. I tried Genshin Impact before. I got so bored right away. Yeah, so Genshin Impact. Give him the chair. The older those bones, the more affected the suplex. <laughs> yeah, so that's like the problem with Genshin. Like, I like Genshin, and I have played a lot of it. And to be honest, I've put a pretty good amount of money into it over the years. I like the characters. I like the music. I like the lore. Grits flexes out. That's pretty awesome. We got a flex. Uh, yeah. Um, Genshin does a lot right, in my opinion. And it also does a lot wrong. Uh, it's kind of a fun game to just run around in, my, like, mindlessly. Uh, but I can totally see how you, like, might not have liked it, John. Also, enjoy your lurk, uh, Sammy. Got a bit back to the writing dimension, but I appreciate the conversation. Hope you have an amazing night. Oh, I appreciate it, too. I always enjoy talking with you, Sammy. Thanks for stopping by. And good luck with your writing. Uh, 
Yeah, Genshin does a lot right, but it does a lot wrong. So I'm excited about this game because I, I'm, I'm the turn-based strategy seems interesting and the character designs seem really good. I don't get enough for all the adventuring I do in, in Genshin. Yeah, that's the problem. The problem with Genshin is you put in a ton of effort, but you don't get a lot out of it. Okay, this is the character who's on Raid Up, who I really want to pool. And then, uh, that's something else. Okay. I have to click all of these so I can get paid for reading the tutorials. Oh, I forgot. There's there's a really cool thing that they added in this game. It's so minimal. Like, it's incredibly minimal. But I saw them advertising this, and it did impress me. Uh, every character... Uh, every character has their own cell phone case. When you, when you pull up the main menu, you pull up your cell phone. Uh... Every character has their own unique cell phone. And it's a very small thing. Hello? How can I help you? Oh, I didn't want to talk to you. Shoot. Wait, I don't want to talk. Hello. Oh, really? That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's just a nice little touch. Like, like I said, it's not like a huge deal. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I, I've seen, I think, a compilation of most of their cell phones, but I don't remember. Everyone has a cool phone case. Uh, Don Hung's is just a black cell phone case. <laughs> he doesn't have anything on it. It's just, just a phone case. Okay. Anyways, back to what I was doing. Oh, we get a free character. And some star passes. Okay, perfect. Well, this reminds me. Have you guys heard of Ark Knights? Uh, yes. I, I have quite a few friends who are very into it. I've played it a little bit. Uh, it has very good... It has a lot of good stuff going for it. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get into it for some reason, but I know it's good. Is this the start of Plum's career as a Star Rail streamer? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> the music in Arx Knights is so good. Yeah, I mean, it has really good music. Okay, I'm just clicking all of these, if you're wondering why I'm just, like, blazing through this, is to hide them. This game is clearly very similar to, uh, to Genshin. So even though I've never played it before, I kind of can feel out where some of the stuff is. Raptor says, I can't hold all these gotchas. I, I know, it's so hard to it's so hard to, to balance a bunch of gotchas. Dude, this character seems really cool. I'm, I'm digging the vibe. Oh joy, another one. I currently don't play any gotcha. I currently don't got any gotcha games I play. Oh, well now you can add now you can have one. Okay, I got stuff, which means I can do some pools. I heard the rumors that it's getting a collab with Destiny 2, which is kinda wild. That is kinda wild, actually. Didn't it get a Monster Hunter collab, too? But also, Operation Pyrite is so good as a workout song. Yeah, like, the L so many songs in that game are just fantastic. Okay, so we're going to do some starter warps. Warps are pools on the gacha. 20% off for a set of 10 warps. So instead of costing me 10 pools, it's 8. Uh, I get a 5 star for sure within 10 warps. I looked at a tier list because of course I did. 
And uh, I think the highest tier character in this I can get is this girl, Clara, who would be pretty awesome to pull. Let's see if I get anybody. Let's punch our tickets. Here we go. Wish me gotcha luck, please. Oh, please wish me gotcha luck. Okay, I pulled Serval again. Give me a cool character, please. Okay, we're getting a lot of these, uh, I don't remember what they call them, light cones? Okay, so I pulled a nether copy of her, and then light cones. Oh, here's a character. Give me one character with a chair or big knuckle and I'll play this game forever. There might be a character who punches things. I don't know. Okay, I pulled, I pulled whoever that was. I'll take a look at anyone I pull in just a second. I would like another character. Subscribe for more. Oh no, it's a streamer. That's a streamer character. Oh, wait, I can use Stellar Jade. Oh, I don't have enough. Okay. Oh, the the desire to spend money is is real. Oh yeah, uh, Grit, you will love Zenless Zone Zero. Like from what I've seen from it, uh, I've watched a lot of gameplay. The character designs in that are fantastic. That one's got a little bit more time till it's done. The mask guy, I mean, every like every character in that game looks amazing. Uh, I should not... Let them cook. One guy has piston punches. Masked guy. Yeah, there's some cool characters in that. Okay, what do I want to do here? I shouldn't just go and start spending money, but yet at the same time, I feel compelled to. This starter warp is pretty awesome. Especially based on the fact that you're guaranteed a five star because, you know, it's like the, the starter banner. But also this character here is like the best character in the game so far. Can I test her out? You can do that in Genshin. Do it, Plum. Just get it over with. Oh, no. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Raptor will kill me. <laughs> Raptor will not kill me. But Raptor will not be happy if I start spending money. <laughs> I just want to see if I can test them. Exchange. What are these? Inter okay, this is like in Genshin, okay. How much is the pool? I'm the devil on your shoulder. <laughs> That's a good question. You know what? I don't know. Let's find out. How much is a pool? It costs Stellar Jade. Um... Own Ryak shards. Uh, let's find out. Let's back out. Oh, it's wanting me to, to do this. I'm going to find out in just a second. It wants me to look at Eidolons. Select an activatable Eidolon. Oh, it's because I got one for... Uh, I got one for uh, Serval. Basic attack deal lightning damage equals 6% of basic attack damage as a ra to a random enemy adjacent. Okay. Very cool. Okay. 
Now let's go find out. How much does it cost? We'll go to the store. Okay, it has a month through much like Genshin and many, many other gacha games, it has a monthly supply pass. For $5 a month, you will get immediate rewards and then ongoing rewards over those over 30 days. That's pretty common. Okay. So, these are the costs of pools. I need to go back and see what the conversion rate was. It cost 1600 Stellar Jade, which I think is the same cost as it is in Genshin Impact, except it's not called Stellar Jade. But it's 1600 for a 10 pool because it's 160 per pool. So much. Yeah, so like other gacha games, when you buy these, your first time purchase will get you a times two because you'll get the normal amount. And then a bonus that's double. And then I'm 100% sure that after you buy it, the bonus will go away and then it'll just be the normal amount. If it's anything like what they do for Genshin, uh, every year they'll reset this. It, I think it's every year Genshin does that. They'll reset the bonuses so that way uh, you get double again on a purchase. Uh... So if I wanted to buy a 10 pool right now, factoring in the double bonus, I would need to spend $15. Uh, if I was not doing a double pool, or if I was not getting the, the double bonus because I was just letting the cash flow, uh, then it would be about $30. Just under. That's, that is uh, a little pricey, however, pretty normal by gotcha standards. Uh, would you agree with that, Raptor? About $30 for a 10 pool? In a, in a Hoyoverse game? That, that sounds about right. But yes, there there is your answer, Grit. You need 1,600 shards for a 10 pool, 160 per pool. This is how much you get for this much money, and it's, if it's your first time buying it, then you get twice as much. I got another achievement for something. For getting some more light cones. Oh yeah, this is the other character I unlocked. Sampo. Okay. I don't think I have anybody who's in the same path, which is good, which is good. Okay. For now, 
We'll go back to playing. I'll leave the reassurance of the researchers in your hands. Let IT RIP. If you have any other questions, you're welcome to come to Himiko and me. Oh. Grid has cheered 500 bits, saying, let it rip. Oh no, Grid. Grid, is that you, uh... Is that you telling me to, uh... <laughs> to do some gacha pools? Maybe. He says maybe. It's your money now. Do what you will. Well, that's... That, that, that is true. I mean, I could... I could do some pools. If only the pools were... Uh, if only the pools were only... <laughs> If only the pools were only five dollars. Oh, wrong button. Yeah, if if only they were five dollars, it would be so much easier. <laughs> oh no, the peer pressure. Well, I have to go set that up. So, uh, because uh, I'm I'm pretty sure I'll have to like grab a card and link it, which I, obviously I will not do on stream. So give me a second. I will be right back. I have to go find it.
All right, I have returned after uh, purchasing a few pools. Um, so here, here is the question. Uh, I think I know the answer, but I have two options. I can pool for her. Uh, I can pull for this character, who is the best DPS in the game. There is absolutely no guarantee I will get her. Uh, if it's anything like Genshin, I probably have to do like 90 pulls, which is like a huge crazy amount. Uh, and even then, it's still not guaranteed I'll get her. So that's really risky. So my instincts are saying don't do that. Or I can pull on the Departure Warp. Which my instincts are saying is a much smarter decision. Uh, because it will give me one of these three... Seven, it'll give me one of these seven five-star characters. Guaranteed. Within uh, 50 pools. And the pools are uh, discounted. Yeah, I feel like Departure Warp is way smarter. Like, that's a, it's a smarter use of money. You get more pool per... per your, your, you get more bang for your buck. And you're guaranteed to get something. Whereas the other one, you're like, you're 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 really risking on the on the the normal like rate up banner. So I feel like this is the smarter uh, call. So I think I'll go with this, and we'll we'll see who I get. All right, here we go. You're spending money on this. Might as well get money. Yeah, let's do this. The other kind would... The other one would make me not feel good. Yeah, if I didn't get anything uh, from the other one, I would feel really bad. I give you the grit luck. All right. Oh, we got Hook. Okay, she's a four star. She's not our guaranteed five star, but she's cool. Easy money. Okay. I would be happy, to be honest, with most of these characters. Uh, but like I said, I, I would really like... Himiko or Clara, I think. I'm gonna keep going. I redeemed, uh... I redeemed 50, uh... I put in $50 into this game. So we're, we're gonna hope I get something. Uh, is that a big hand? Yes. She had a really big hand. Is there a list of characters? Yes. Yeah, I went for the 50. I figured, you know what? We'll go all in on it. That's not all in. Like there could have, I could have gone more all in. Uh, but I wasn't gonna go more all in than that to start. Like a hundred, that would have been. I don't know about that. <laughs> Fifty's a lie. A fifty crab bucks, fifty crab coins. You know what you can do with fifty crab coins? Uh, is there a list of characters? Uh, there is. Uh, I don't think there's one. I don't know if there's one I can pull up in game. There might be one somewhere. Here we go again. That's a whole new Switch game at Walmart, I know. I now have to play it based on the amount of money I just put into this game. Uh, I got a sub at Walmart today. <laughs> it's a whole new Switch game at Walmart. Why did I hear Mr. Krabs cry of horror from distance? Yeah, okay, so putting $15, not 15, putting 50, five zero dollars into this game means that I have now spent as much money on it as I would have on a brand new, you know, Switch title. Which means I now have to play this game enough to get, you know, the same amount of time and, you know, enjoyment out of it that I would have a Switch game in order to, like, make up for the money I spent. Okay, this is a... Uh, that was another light cone. In other words, it means I'm going to be playing this game for at least a little while. To um, make the money I spent on it worth it.
Assuming you don't put more money for more pools, and that's a big if. That's true. Okay, we're going back in. And then Plum played for 50 years. Okay, I pulled another March 17th. So that's a four star character. We still haven't pulled. Oh. Oh, we pulled Geppard. Not the character I wanted, but he's pretty cool. He is pretty cool. Oh my gosh, it is. It's great. I forgot about I forgot that we were calling him Geppard. Commander Geppard. Oh oh the second I pulled it, that was it. Let's go. He's oh my gosh, he's so cool. Yeah, okay. So I guess as soon as you reach that uh, you pull that five star, uh they, they say you're done with the discount. You don't get any more of that. Wow, it's a blondie boy. How original. He, uh... I'll have to... I'll pull him up in a second. I guess since I have other pools now. Oh, this is just regular pools. I guess... I guess now that I finished pooling... I guess I can put the rest into pooling on her. I still have some... I, I have pulls still. I'm going to be able to do this twice. But it would be pretty fantastic if I got her. I should be sleep, but now it's Geppard. Okay, as soon as I'm done with the pulls, I will show you the character. Was it gold last time? That purple light? Is that... Was that when you said gold? Is that how you knew it was going to be one? It was. Okay. Yes, it was. Okay. So that's how you know. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. Pulled another... Another Asta. Okay. Well, this one's going to be it. Probably. Well, duplicates, when you get duplicates in these games, you, you use the duplicates to power up the existing characters. Sometimes those duplicates can actually be really strong, but it's purple. That is the big sad. That That is the biggest big sad there ever was. We did pull this character, though. Oh, I've seen her. Uh, I've seen her moveset. I love these little floaty things. Okay. Still the big sad we didn't pull her, though. Did I just pull another one? Wow, I pulled two of her. Yeah, I pulled her twice. That's kind of funny. Yeah, they're floating guns. There's actually... Okay. Every four, ten warps. Okay, yeah. So this is going to be the same as... Was that the same worth as Three Houses, Metopia, or Legends of Arceus? You know, I did I did feel a slight bit of uh what is it, uh Oh gosh. I felt a little bit of dopamine while I was doing that. <laughs> I still have uh some of the currency. Every ten stars is the guarantee, but uh it make his brain feel good. If it's anything like Genshin. Buyer's remorse. Oh, no. If it's anything like Genshin, uh, it should be okay to do a couple, to do two more, even if they're individual ones.
We got Gepard, it was worth. That's true, we did pull him. I'm gonna go take a look at him. I don't know what he was on the tier list. Oh, that's a blue. We don't, that doesn't matter. All right, this is our last pool out of that, uh, out of that 50. Please be a gold. This is a blue, that is not good. <laughs> okay. Well, that's all she wrote for now. It could have been gold. Oh, uh, hello? I'm, I'm sorry. There are, there are two of us? Hmm. I feel like gotcha games would mess me up. Cornucopia, what a bitter end to the pools. They will. I must be scared. Gotcha games can mess you up. Uh, you should be very careful with spending them, or with playing them, uh, with your spending. It's very easy. Oh, I must be sleepy. <laughs> it's very easy to accidentally, uh... Oh my gosh, because I'm seeing double. That's great. But, like, baseball wads of monies. Oh. Yeah, it's very easy to uh, overspend in gacha games. You should always play them and spend responsibly. Uh, and don't uh, spend $50 on them like I just did, unless you have the money. Or you're doing it for a stream. Just kidding, actually. Don't only do it if, uh... Only do it if you have the money. Oops, keep hitting the wrong button. Here we go. Accidentally refinance your house. No, don't do that. Do not do that, Raptor. Okay, so we did get some new characters, though. We got three new characters out of that. And some, uh... Duplicates. So let's take a look at him. He a star railer now, boys. <laughs> Spend your money responsibly, say everyone who ever played gacha games. Mortgage your kid. Oh, no. Uh, you know, it's funny. Uh, speaking of like start be like people who play gacha games on stream. Uh, it's kind of crazy how they do it. Uh, I, I'm. I don't know this by any means or stretch, like, but I, I just stop playing League, you'll save all the money. I, I think some big streamers get paid to, like, pull in the banners. Uh, where, you know, they'll be like, they'll do like, a, I don't know, they'll do like a $100 worth of pool on, on, the, on the game. Uh, and I think they actually get, like, paid back to do that. Like, by, uh, the gotcha game company. Like they spend a hundred dollars and then they actually get like ref refunded the money like on on the side back. Or I think a lot of them too, like they use like they use like donations from chat, you know, like uh, like bits from chat or, or the subs that they get during chat, like during uh, gotcha streams. And that money goes right back into the game to like fund it. So everybody gets to experience the uh, the dopamine of the gacha together. But if you're not doing that, a little bit harder to just be dropping the big monies. Okay, let's see what her Eidolon got us. I felt good giving you five for Gepard. <laughs> Grit got some of that dopamine. Okay. Every time March 7th's ultimate freezes a target, she regenerates six energy. I'd be surprised for Genshin. They're so stingy. I don't know. Maybe they don't. I feel like that's what they would do. But maybe it's entirely funded by chat. Uh, I'm saving Gepard for last. Gepard's our big pool. S uh, Star Sing Sans versus or vocals. When using skill, deals damage for one extra time to a random enemy. Okay. Let's look at her. She 
kind of reminds me of Mila Rage. Is it Mila or Milia Rage from uh What is it called? Well, here Guilty you Gear. Go, like a tiny start version. rebuilding that war chest and hopefully put it to an upcoming Switch game. Like <laughs> well, here you go. Got to start re start rebuilding that war chest and hopefully put it to an upcoming Switch game like Samba de Amigo this summer. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits, Striker. Yes. Well, I'm heading to bed as I'm sleepy. So good luck, Plum. Don't spend too much. And have a nice night, everybody. Yeah, you have a nice night, too. Thank you so much for stopping by, John. I appreciate it. Yeah, Samba de Amigo. They're making a... Uh, there's a new one coming out. Okay, this girl... Who I have an idol on for. Victory Report. When Pela defeats an enemy, she regenerates five energy. Okay. Alright. Alright, Grit, it's time. Let's let's see Geppard. Okay. I mean, he's got a cool design. I'm not gonna deny it. <laughs> I love him. I'll take seven. You know, it's funny you say that. In fact, it's hilarious you say that. That you say the number seven specifically. Uh, since you haven't played uh, Hoyoverse games before. Uh, you need to pull seven. <laughs> you need to pull seven characters. Like seven copies if you want to max out a character in a Hoyoverse game to its ultimate like potential. Because you need to pull it the first time to get them. And then you got to pull them six more times. If you want to get all their Eidolons. In uh, Genshin Impact, they're called Constellations, but they're like exactly the same. They are completely unnecessary. Uh, you don't have to. But they always... Unlike in, in some gacha games... Can you earn pulls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can earn. I, I'm 100% sure that you get... You can, like... It is entirely possible to play gacha games without spending money. Uh, I heard from people who uh, played in the beta for this game, like the, uh, the betas for it, uh, that you can clear this game's content without ever spending a single penny. You don't have to spend money in this game. You won't get, uh, you won't get, you might not get all the characters and all the cool things, but it is possible to finish the content with the freebie characters they give you. But as you play these games, you usually get free resources that you can use to do to make pools on the gacha uh, without having to spend money. It's just getting those free pools usually takes more time and effort, whereas, uh, you can just spend money to get it instantly. You know, it's it's the old, you know, do you want to grind for a few, you know, do you want to grind it out uh, and try to get enough resources by, by grinding the game? Or do you want to just, excuse me, or do you just want to open up your wallet and get it instantly? See, I'd spend money to get a Geppard or someone cooler and then just run through it. The only gacha I ever played was Fire Emblem Heroes. Oh, I remember that. I played that for a little while. And it was only because you get my Nintendo Platinum points as well. I played that for a little bit. Uh, I also played a little bit of Dragalia Lost, which was actually really cool. And I think maybe the first gacha game I ever played. It's a shame they shut it down. Uh, I You don't have to, like I said, with, with gacha games, you don't have to spend money. Uh... Obviously, they'd probably prefer it if you did. I want to know what he does. You know, we pulled him. Let, let's see what he can do. He deals ice damage equal to 50% of his attack to a single enemy on his basic. Skill. Daunting Smite. Is he a paladin? Kind of looks like a paladin. Deals ice damage equal to 100% of his attack to a single enemy with a 65% base chance to freeze the enemy for one turn. 
While frozen, the enemy cannot take action and will take additional ice damage, equal to 30% of his attack at the beginning of each turn. Okay. Talent. Unyielding Will. When struck with a killing blow, instead of becoming knocked down Gepard, Gepard's HP immediately restores to 25%. This happens once per battle. Oh, okay. So he has like a comeback from death mechanic. Camaraderie. After Gepard uses his technique, which is this, when the next battle begins, a shield will be applied to all allies, absorbing damage equal to uh, a quarter of his defense, plus 150 for two turns. Interesting. Oh, wait. Techniques are the things you use when you start a battle out. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's, it's the thing you can use to start a fight at the cost of a, a point. So you can use this to start a battle and everybody gets a shield. That's honestly why I shied away from mobile games. Lack of longevity, trauma from Fire Emblem 7, First Soldier, barely lasting a year. Uh, yeah, that's the that's the problem with gacha games. You just never know how long they're going to last because they're live service games. Uh, I, I feel comfortable, quote, don't quote me on that. Uh, actually, don't quote me on that. But I feel semi-comfortable playing games made by Hoyoverse. Uh, I believe uh, that Genshin Impact to date has grossed over one billion dollars in revenue. I could be wrong, but I feel I feel like it is one billion dollars. Uh, in fact, I think it's probably more than a billion dollars in revenue. I think they made that in the first year and it's been going for more than a year. Uh, so, you know, that game's not going to die. Uh, this is another Hoyoverse game, so that has a lot of hype on it. So, you know, this is going to probably be another billion dollar game that's probably going to last forever. But yeah, a lot of other gacha games I can completely understand. Uh, let me see Gepard in action. Yeah, you probably need to go to bed. Uh, let me see what his ultimate does, and then I will go find a fight if I can. Applies a shield to all allies, absorbing damage equal to 30% of his defense for three turns. <laughs> On it, I feel semi-comfortable playing games from Hoyovers. Palm the Hermitcraft 2023. Hey, you know what? That's a fine quote. I feel semi-comfortable. Oh, I didn't set my team. Shoot. Team setup. Uh, you become Gepard. Oh, I have two shielders. I don't need two. One of those types was an imaginary, by the way. What are you? Destruction, preservation, erudition, the hunt, nihility, harmony. Erudition, destruction. Okay, let's take you, you four. Okay. Uh, ask if Arlen needs help. Okay. If only I caught the antimatter legion sooner. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm fine. This pain is nothing really. I'm used to it. In fact, I should be proud of it. It's a reminder of being able to protect everyone. <clears throat> but, uh, don't tell lead researcher Asta what I just said. Whew. There were a few researchers who didn't make it. The rest are fine, mostly minor injuries. But I'm worried about their mental states. Most of them came to the space station because they admired Madame Herta. But now they can't reach her or even their own families. I just hope they can all survive this crisis. My first impression was that she was the daughter of a rich family. Owners of a big company. She was kind to me, though. When she went to the space station, I followed her. I don't know much about science, but I'm glad to be able to protect people in pursuit of their research. Okay, none of those were asking. I hope all this chaos will end soon. I have no idea what it gave me. Oh, okay, they let you level up light cones. Never mind. Oh gosh. There's so many people I could talk to that would probably be giving me a ton of lore. Any of it that important? How can I help? 
Space Station, you Arlen Herta. No. What's the matter? You seem to have something on your mind. Learn about the Express. Okay, I do want to ask this. Do you know who I am? Exactly you are escapes me, but you seem familiar to me. I have a couple of hunches, but I can't prove any at this point. So they'll be my little secrets for now. Are you concerned about your past? You seem like someone who prefers to look forward rather than back. Or maybe I'm just describing myself. Come find me anytime. All right, let's go up top. I need to leave. I need to run from this forsaken. No, it's impossible. I can run from yesterday. I can run from today, but tomorrow will always be one step ahead of me. Dang, he's right though. Look, the obstacle detection terminal has recorded 142,856 attacks. The next count will be 142,857. I know in my heart that when I see that hopelessly beautiful cyclic number, it will mean the poetic end of my life cycle. Oh, jeez. Things will get better. Or, life is but a path to death, but not today. You know what's funny? I feel like this guy needs to hear the second one. How insightful. Yes, of course. The closer you approach death, the more you appreciate life. Oh my gosh, it was. I will pull myself together. Thank you. That was kind of you. Oh my gosh, that worked. Yeah, I was like, this guy doesn't need to hear it. things will get better. He needs to hear some facts. I think there's... I don't know where the speech is from. Is it Lord of the Rings? <laughs> oh, today... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Thank you, Grit. I love that. Push the stick down, Alfred. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I got the wrong person. Let me help. Thanks, kid. We're doing some pre-checks for the satellite remote sensing. I'll hold down the button to monitor the signal, and you push the control stick according to my instructions. But first, let's talk about the controls. Up is the spectrometer, down is the filter, Left is the reference level, and right is the attenuator. Our pre-checks have three steps. Turning on the spectrometer, then the attenuator, and finally outputting the signal to the filter. It's quite a bit to remember. Nope. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll go over. The controls are up for the spectrometer, down for Oh my the gosh, I'm not paying attention. Left for the reference level, and right for the attenuator. Oh my gosh, okay. Up is up for spectrometer, down for filter. Left for reference, right for attunator. Please, somebody remember that or write that down. Up is spectrometer, down is filter, left is reference level, right is attunator. Spectrometer, filter, reference, spectrometer, filter, reference, attenuator. The pre-checks have three steps. Turning on the spectrometer, then the attenuator, Finally, outputting the signal to the filter. I've already forgotten. No. Are you ready? I'm going to believe it's up, down, left. Wrong order, kid. Push the control stick up to activate the spec. Are you ready? Wasn't that one? Let's try this one. Oh, wrong order, kid. Push okay. the control. Hey, good news. Ready? Wonderful. Thank you. Don't worry, we got it. <laughs> I've wiped what Grit said from my mind too. It's okay. That was very helpful of you, kid. Oh my gosh, it didn't Alfred matter. I could just be wrong. In charge of this. He was in the storage zone earlier. He didn't make it back. Oh. Abraham was close to him. 
I don't know how to tell him about it. Oh, no, the guy who was just freaking out, one of his friends just died. The top priority is to preserve the space station and concentrate on the work at hand. Oh, I unlocked a pass for playing, though. You, you'll earn passes for leveling up. Stuff you can earn. Oh, you can try all the characters. Space trains are the coolest. I agree. Okay, and you can get this character for free later. Hey, we can test out this character that I was trying to pull with money. Seely. Extraordinary single target damage. When Silly defeats an enemy, she gains an extra turn. That's such a strong ability in a turn-based RPG. Whenever you get a kill, you get to go again. Like, that's... That's, like, really strong. Oh, that's so cool. I told you I could fight. Oh, let's use her super. Her I'll ultimate. You from your chains. Single target? Let's pick this unlucky guy. Space Scythe. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Let me end your misery. After she'll defeat Silly defeats an enemy, she gains an extra turn. That was really cool, by the way. That was so extra, I love it. I know, it was so cool. Oh, her skill's really cool. Her attack is really cool. Got it again. Let's do it again. I'll free you from your chains. We get to see it a second time. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. I don't know how to, to do that. The past. Let me end your misery. I want to show you him. What? What? I I think I'm just gonna have to keep like going. Polax, Polax, and gun. I would like to show you him. Uh, I forgot I went to go do that. I'm sorry. Uh, let me get out of here. There we go. Um, I have to keep going until I can get into some kind of combat. Oh, I forgot. I can run around as him. I need to get into some kind of combat as him before I can show you him. Okay, well, this is probably it. Take the express and leave. Is that a space dragon? I'll stay. But let's go. Was that a space dragon? the doomsday beast the legion's planet destroyer the space station is heard as creation as long as the lord ravager doesn't intervene there should be no problems but we can't just run away like this right the 
Doomsday Beast can rip off the defense shield like tearing paper. And Hurt is not here. The station's defenses are too weak to stand against the Antimatter Legion. Either way, the Legion has the blessing of the Eon Nanook. They came prepared, and everyone here is not. That's why we have to leave and take her with us. Hmm? She's that important? She's the one who can help us turn the tides. Of course I may be wrong. Hmm. As you say so. All right. What should we do next? This is the supply zone where the maintenance crew works. There's a path here that leads to the railway platform. Let's head over there and meet up with Welt. Mr. Yang? Mr. Yang's here too? Didn't he stay on the express? The Astral Express tracks our coordinates in real time. And with such a huge change in the space station's movements, there's no way Mr. Yang wouldn't have noticed. Mm-hmm. I can almost guarantee that your Mr. Yang is already on his way. Right now, we might be able to handle things if it's just the Doomsday Beast, but if the Destruction's Emanator were to appear... Let's hurry up and get out of here. I'll explain later. All right, hopefully we're about to get you some con some combat grit. Yes, we are. Here we go. Here's here's the combat. I'm with you. Oh, I should have hit that first. Good thing I shielded. It's only the Doomsday Beast. Yeah, that sounds promising. Yeah, we'll be fine. Yumiko can launch follow-up attacks during battle. Every time an ally inflicts a weakness break, Yumiko accumulates charge. What type of damage do I do? I deal ice. Okay. Now let's hit this thing. Pair. And please. are made to be broken. Oh, this music, though. You don't you, you're welcome. You won't get away. This is our chance. Oh, it's because I inflicted uh, a break on them. Wow, she's so useful. You will know justice. All right, here we go. Here, here he is, Grit. He, that is a big thing he's carrying. Unfortunately, he doesn't have his ultimate, so we can't see it yet. We'll just hit, hit this guy. Oh, he's punching. Grit, he punches. <laughs> Yeah, he's carrying that thing on his back, but he punch. I would like to get a super. Combat is a series of precise machinations. Okay, that was pretty awesome. Commencing support. Ready for another? Caught them unawares. Yeah, this guy just punches. I 
I think it carries over. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Enemy targets detected. Let's try and parry. This <gasps> Let's go. Oh, we have her special, her ultimate ready. Enemy data secure. Zone suppression. Oh, on everybody. Net markers active. Time for a good old counter attack. This is our chance. Okay, that was pretty great. Batter up. That one, come on. Oh. Okay. So, uh, for everybody watching, I'm going to show you her uh, her ultimate. This is why I wanted her because it's so cool. Perhaps you still don't understand. She turns her little drone briefcase into a chair and she sits there drinking tea. And then we use her uh, her ultimate. Conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. <laughs> That's so satisfying. The, die is cast. the line she says is is like really intimidating too. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, so why should I? GDI Ion Cannon. Dude, there's something so satisfying about just calling down the space the space beam from a satellite. I hope I pull her eventually. Now I must go to bed. Completely understandable. You get some good sleep, Grit. You have a good night. Ready for another? This is our chance. You won't get away. Detailed overhaul. This is also the reward of trailblazing. Formidable foe. Ethan to win bountiful rewards. Ooh, okay. Good thing I called that down. Still have the upper hand? Rules are made to be broken. Got some ultimates saved up. Let's put them to good use. You won't get away. Really? Still have the upper hand? Still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Lily? Still have the upper hand? Let's clear this enemy out. Let's make it quick. Enemy data secured. 
Net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. They changed her line. Yeah, I just noticed that. That is not the line I thought she was going to say. Whoa, that did a ton of damage. Combat is a series of precise machinations. Oh, we can finally see his ability. Oh, too bad Grit went to sleep. Here's a cold. Pardons the will. We shall never fall. Oh, we put up the ice wall. Ready for another? Will know justice. Does he? Does that enemy still have that attack on them? No, he does not have the status. Let's impair him. Commencing support. I'll contain them. Time for a detailed overhaul. Let's go. Wow, much damage. Yeah, I, I don't... Is that all? I'm actually wondering if I... You know what? I should save that ability. Rules are made to be broken. I should save it. Until I can use the, uh, the other girl's ability. But actually, we're not going to do that. How do I... How do I change my mind? What if I don't want to cast it? Or is it like too late? Oh, I think I'm like already used the ability. Well, all right. You won't get away. We have the upper hand. Ready for another? This thing is really tanky. Okay, here we go. Enemy data secure. Net markers active. Time for a good old counter attack. I hope you're prepared. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. You will know justice. The die is cast. Take this! Oh no. That's not good. Combat is a series of precise machinations. of Landau. Years of cold. Pardons the will. We shall never fall! Let's make it quick. I hope you're prepared.
Man, that does a lot of damage on that dead me. You will know justice. Rules are made to be broken. Can I kill this thing? This is getting kind of close. I think we're going to. I hope you're prepared. In the name of Landau, years of cold hardens the will. We shall never fall. Okay, we got it. That was hard. That was like a really hard fight. Wow, much fun. Yeah, I thought that was pretty fun. That was tough, but I am happy I did it. It was a formidable enemy after it. Yeah, I mean, it was hard. That was that was pretty hard. I was not sure I was going to win that either. Like, that started to feel like I did not have it. I think I got some pools, too. I did get a pool. Well, may as well use my freebie. I really hope it's gold this time. It's not, though. You hope for the gold, and then you don't get it. That's the way it is. I feel like these two characters kind of do the same thing. I want to see what she does. Oh, she has a guitar. for the main event. That weapon is so cool looking. going to be a chaotic team blast copy <laughs> i o i can only hope so combat is a series of precise machinations i hope you're prepared
Whoa, my health. Uh, my tempo. Let's make it quick. <laughs> time for a detailed overhaul. One at a time. The best is yet to come. I would like to go heal at this thing. That was a that was a lot of damage I took. Honey Frank Sinatra reference. What was the uh, what was the reference? for the main event. Let's go the best is yet to come. Let's go. I don't have anything that's gonna help me. Well, I have ice. Just for you. Well, let's see what uh let's see what she does. Ready to lose yourself? Oh, it's an AoE, here we go. Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all. Okay, that was pretty cool. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Pretty good crowd today. Uh, my tempo! Serious damage. I think it's because I have not leveled these characters. That is probably why. Let's see, how long have I been streaming? I've been streaming for almost three hours. Oh my goodness. That's a long stream. I think. I think it's probably time for me to uh, go to bed. <laughs> uh, I Yeah, I think I should probably uh, wrap it up. And I said maybe an hour. I know, I got pulled in. It got me. It got me. It got me good. But yeah, I should get ready for bed. Uh, so let's... I got, yeah, I know he got me. It time, yeah, it's it's Tom. So let me. Uh, was that how was that? By the way, uh, was did you enjoy watching? 
because it's pretty fun to play. I, uh, I, I might be uh, streaming more of this in the future. I'm not sure. It's certainly fun to play. I know I'm going to keep playing it, especially after I put money in. Yeah, I would say that was enjoyable. But yeah, thank you, everybody. Uh, we shut up. I shall watch simply to keep track of the money. So there's that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what are you, my accountant? <laughs> let's... Let's raid. Uh... Let's raid into a, uh, a, a VTuber who I really enjoy watching. Uh, Grit often watches uh, her as well, and I was introduced to her because of Grit, actually. Uh, her name... <laughs> you spent over $600. IRS would like to have a word with you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, her name is Fasani. Uh, she is an artist and a variety streamer who plays games from comfy to horror. Uh, I really enjoy watching her, and it looks like she's working on some art right now. So let's go say hi to her, uh, and get her with a crab raid. If you have the crab rave emotes, you can you can use them. Uh, otherwise, just hit her with a crab raid. But yeah, thank you so much, everybody, who came by. I really appreciate it. And I hope you all have a great rest of your night. And I'll see you all later. <laughs>